Hi y'all, welcome to my shop. It's that time again uh, for the annual Alan Stratton uh, Carl Jacobson Christmas uh, ornament contest and this is going to be my entry. This cute little guy, uh, I got this, it's not my idea, I got this idea from one of my viewers, uh, James Robb from Scotland, who sent this to me and I, I really appreciate that James. So we're going to show you how to turn these. They're, they're kind of a challenge, uh, but they're, they're fun and basically we're going to start off with a piece of wood about seven inches long, maybe an inch thick, uh, and two inches wide. That can vary. Uh, white wood is especially good. Uh, you can possibly bleach something. I might try some Bradford pear. You might try one a little bit thicker um, than, than an inch to see how that goes. You, you're going to have to play with these. Use whatever technique you have to uh, mark the centers uh, for drilling and the centers for uh, the for turning between centers on on each end, you you really have to be very very precise. And I'm not going to tell you the best way to do it because frankly I'm not real good at it. If you don't get it exactly right, let me show you a little technique that that you can sort of get yourself out of trouble a little bit. So using a rotary Dremel type tool with a uh, sanding drum on it can uh, allow you to shape the edges a little bit. And might fool the eye if one side's thicker than the other. Now let's move over to the drill press. First we're going to drill through almost all the way through and then we're going to flip it over and drill through the other side so we don't get any tear out. Be sure to hold your work down with a clamp. Now we're going to place it between centers with the head going toward the headstock. appropriate size tool rest. Always turn it and make sure you're not going to hit anything. Go ahead and put it in a chuck now and stabilize it. I've got these small jaws with a dovetail that'll grip it securely, but I've still got to have tail stock support because of this end grain. It doesn't take a whole lot to crack it. I've already got a very small crack that I've had to put a little CA in to reinforce it, so let's just hope for the best. to get in a little closer and now we're going to start working on the, the finial.
I was able to get this glued up again with some CA glue and, and recover from it. Uh, it wasn't catastrophic, but um, a better method would have been for me to turn the finial tip uh, down to uh, a point before I thinned out the, the rest of the ornament and then supported it in a mandrel save, type saver uh, live center or, or the soft touch on my Nova uh, center that would have given that su support. Because that, that uh, those short sections of end grain are very, very fragile as you can see. <laughs> Stuffing these with cotton is almost as big a challenge as turning them. Uh, I tried some polyester. Uh, it doesn't work real well. Uh, real cotton works best. Uh, I tried a little cotton batting. That's not bad. Uh, this is some eyeliner, facial cleaner stuff my wife was throwing out. Uh, it's got a pattern to it. I don't like it, but it, it seemed to work well if I put it behind this, uh, this batting. Uh, and then maybe take a skewer to kind of uh, stuff in the, in the sides a little bit. And, Decorating the face, I like to use uh, puff paint and you draw out the orange puff paint for his nose. Uh, I don't use puff paint for his mouth. I use uh, a Sharpie, make five little dots, but I use black puff paint here. Uh, a little masonite uh, for the uh, brim, or, or you can paint it. I think painting it is actually a, a nicer, nicer look. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. Happy turning.